your instructions. Yes? Hmm? What? Speak your mind. Breaking rock or breaking skulls, same to me. My blade is sure, my arrow true. My blade is sure, my arrow true. Cunning serves where violence will not. Breaking rock or breaking skulls, yeah. same to me. dare stand against me? I walk with the spirits. Their wisdom will serve you well. The shadows are my home. Come, who dare stand against me? My blade is sure, my arrow true. Thank you. 
years. I await your instructions. Speak your mind. My blade is sure, my arrow true. It's nice to be needed. I am never lonely. My friends await my summons. Why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Ugh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest... Never mind. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. If you insist. I stand with the king! Greetings. If you insist. Should I have brought a flask with me? I thought that's what the servants were for. At last, ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virulin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Hello! Ah, oh, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. Can't find good servants in the city? Can't find them out here. What a world. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Ugh, you don't expect me to drink this. Hello. You're here. Finally. I must have a talk with Beline later. Hmm? Yes, yes, get on with it. Ale? Beastly stuff. Have they taught you nothing here? I already have my drink. Hmm. Oh dear, I think not. Do you need something? Thank you. That will be all. Oh dear, I think not. Oh, have they taught you nothing? Watch your step. Thank you. That... What is it? Leave me alone. I'm no longer... Yeah. 
I stand with the king. On the move. Shall we do business, gentlemen, gentle ladies? that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal, but Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeral nobility, most recently Alnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virulin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? <laughs> oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war, a much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend. But I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold. They have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. You there, what is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking the scullery maid, what does... Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. Indeed, there is truth in what you say. 
I have often found fear to be a more useful asset than respect. My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please, they make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of their own gold. Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf, if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. I do your bidding this time. You and you lot with me. The main gate has already been breached. The House of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daryl Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, ready your weapon. With all the time you spent training under my Master of Arms, you must be able to defend yourself by now. my eyes as you bears. Listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. Be quiet, I tell you. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. There's no time for argument. Do as I say and fetch my sword. Hello. So tiresome. Jesus. <sighs> uh, 
surrounded by curs. Surrounded by curse. Yes, I know. <sighs> 